quick but a one out it's not the same as when I was punched in the old days there was enough an average session for us lasts anywhere between two to two hours and a half there are in throughout a week we have a few sprint sessions which covers the anaerobic system a few aerobic sessions which helps with your endurance and being able to finish off your races. Then we work on power with different types of equipment. Um, we do underwater work to work on your leg strength and your lung capacity. And then, yeah, that all ties into, I guess, the, your one chosen race. In terms of dry land, um, personally, I like to do extra dry land. That's just because of my body type. Um, I find it really helps me switch on all my smaller muscles and keeps everything toned and um, looking good, I guess. Uh, I find it helps with my aerobic capacity. And since I'm a sprinter, I don't swim as far as the distance people in the water, but. I like to do extra out of the water to help me gain just as much aerobic as they have. A swimmer's gym program is really specific. We do certain exercises that help us work the certain muscles that we need to swim fast in the pool. Um, our gym sessions generally range between an hour and 15 to an hour and a half. And yeah, that whole time you're working at high intensity and you're getting the most out of yourself. We do gym twice a week, uh, heavy weights, and then we'll do other stuff incorporated into that as well, like core and Pilates, which all helps the smaller muscles, which helps the bigger muscles, and then it all ties in together. Nutrition is a very important part of swimming, if not the most important part. It's part of recovery and just, yeah, being able to back up each and every session, being able to give 100%. I follow quite a strict eating plan to make sure I get as much nutrients as I need to finish off all my sessions to the best of my ability. I use Balance Sports Nutrition products to help me recover from those sessions. It's also very important to consider the stuff that us elite athletes do outside of the pool. Things like massage and physio and getting your daily sleeps in. That all aids in your recovery and making sure your muscles are kept at tip top condition. You're not too tight so you're not getting injuries. Yeah, it basically just keeps the whole body functioning to its optimal rate and it helps you complete the whole training week, not just have a good start of the week and then get too tired at the end of the week. I'm lucky enough to be sponsored by Speedo, which means I get to train with some of the best equipment in the world. In my kick bag, I have a snorkel, which helps with my head position when I'm pulling and kicking. I have a pool boy, which helps you focus on your catch. Finger paddles, which also helps with your shoulder endurance and connection within the water and a kickboard which builds your leg endurance up. I guess what it takes to become an elite athlete is dedication, commitment, following a plan and sticking to it even when the days that you don't feel like going to training and turning up and giving 110% each and every training session, adding all those little one percenters up, going the extra mile, going above and beyond of what's expected of you is what will separate you from the rest of the pack.